Hey guys, Luke here, and uh, we're here for another episode of the Bulldogs Crib Mode Show. It's round 16, so I think it's like episode 14. Not that I'm not doing it in episodes, but doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go straight to the game. This game is New Zealand Warriors, and I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Is there any changes? Chase Stanley isn't very good in this game, so I think we're going to change him. So it doesn't have the speed. I think Cora Thompson's a better prospect for the wing spot. Um, yep, we're going to go with that. Straight into it. Now, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about this episode. I think I definitely want to talk about, uh, in, in the Bulldogs game, um, the Bulldogs vs. Eels round 23. Um, so just for future references, if people um, are watching this back a few weeks later, or years later, something like that. Um, so round 23, 2014, uh, Parramatta Eels vs. Bulldogs, uh, ANZ Stadium, Friday night. Uh, you get what I mean. Um, so Eels, well, Chris Sando uh, kicked a 40, it was such a good 40-22. Um, it was perfect. And this is coming from the Bulldogs supporter side. There probably will be bias here. But it was such a good 40-20, right? Oh no, I pressed that. I swear I didn't mean to press that. I accidentally pressed that. Wow. Big Vatavoy up against Thompson. Um, I see they kicked a 40-20. And they went for the quick tap, but they stuffed it up. And now he was trying to say that that's the reason they lost the game. And I think that's very debatable. But, well, actually, I'll say why I think it's debatable first up. And then I'll explain what I was going to talk about. Um, so the reason I think it's debatable because, really, they should have went up to check um, to see if it was a 40 21st because it was so close. There was, like centimeters in it um, so they definitely should have went up and had a look because if they had went and scored they wouldn't have looked at it like it had it had um oh my god had it actually gone out on the full and they let them go and score it would have been a really bad thing and they weren't to know at the time so they should have went up and had a look they didn't do that um, the, the issue they had was well I guess they could have had a look because um, the ball boys stuffed up well uh, the ball boy did stuff up, but at the same time, uh, it was the dummies from Eels were calling for the ball, rushing him, all that sort of stuff, and they, they didn't know the rules either. Um, so, was it the ball boy's fault? Yes and no. I mean, I know he's 10 years old, but like, we put seriously, the reason they didn't get they didn't get away with it was because of the ball boy. But at the same time, Paramount Eels play should have been more aware. It's round 23, they should know the rules by now. Um, they certainly knew they were allowed to take the quick tap, they just didn't know how they had to go about it. So, just things like that as well, these professional footballers, just stuff like that makes it so unprofessional and hard to compare them to other sports because other sports don't have this sort of shit. At least the players know the rules. Um, but another thing is that Chris Sando, when he goes up to... Um, when he goes to tap it, he doesn't tap it with his foot, he just like hits his knee with it, which I'm pretty sure is uh, illegal and should have been called back as well. So, I'm not sure had it like had he went up and scored. I don't, I don't think they can rule on that. So, that would have been annoying to concede a try because of that, but I guess what can you do? I mean, Hogginson went real close to the play before, like, sorry, like, the set before that, and you could argue that he could have scored, I'm going to go with he didn't score, but I'm sure there were some frames that would have made it look like he did score, um, but basically, um, based off, like, the last game, and it's not just off this last game, and it's not, not a bitter Bulldog supporter or anything like that, for sure, um, but this is, a, as a fan, there's so many rules in this that they've brought in this year that just aren't good enough. Uh, first off, one of them's the shoulder charge. Now, how often did you see a shoulder charge to the head anyways? Um, I mean, I can think of like two, like Frank Richard and... I don't know, Frank Richard twice maybe? I know he did it for sure once. But how often did a shoulder charge actually hit the head? Um... Plus, like, this, it's rugby league, you're going to get hit in the head, whether it's a shoulder charge or not. Um, I know it might be a little bit more impact. Oh, wow. So easy. 
But it's, it just seems shit to me that they take out the shoulder charge, but yet they still are fine with like featuring them in highlights packages and all that sort of stuff. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and I think it's like when when I'm if I was like a supporter and I and I show non fans um, rugby league plays, you know what I go to? I go like I remember at school um, showing like my friends who weren't rugby league fans or they only seen little bits. I would go through and I'd find Ben Barber tribe pack try compilation this is when he's at the Bulldogs and I would go through and find big hits and they would say oh that's cool because the general audience they could not give two shits about most of the play um, but when when someone sees a big hit everyone knows that that collision is gonna hurt so it's it's kinda like YouTube viral hits like when you see someone get smashed like you just you can't not watch and it's the same way with um big hits I thought it was gonna be an offside um, hopefully, I'm articulating myself decent enough and getting my point across. Um, I don't even know if that made sense, articulating myself. Mm, I don't know, we'll go over that. I'm pretty sure that didn't actually make any sense. Now I think about it. I was trying to sound smart, and I didn't come off as smart at all. Um, another rule is obviously that quick tap. Does not work either. I've seen it have, like successfully work once, I think, and that was an under-20s game. Um, the Warriors halfback, uh, he's Asian, or kind of, a, I don't know, he's Mason Lino or something like that. Um, if you've seen under-20s, you know who I mean. The reason I say he's Asian is because it's easier to tell because there's not many Asians playing footy uh, at this time. Um, but he scored off one. I thought it was cool when it happened, but at the same time, like, they just it's just not effective. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Come on, Lafay. Yeah. That was kind of a cool play. Um, I kind of got uh, flashbacks to a try that Warriors scored against the Knights or someone. I can't really remember who, but they scored a try like that. Oh, we should make them subs. Uh, what else was going to say? Yeah, that, like, they rush in, they do it, and like Sando and stuff did, like, they don't know the rules. And they don't seem to want to learn the rules. Um, so, I don't think it will ever happen with them learning the rules. And it's a s serious problem because you need to know the rules to be able to take advantage of it. And a lot of the times, like, I would rather, I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but I would rather them go up and take 10 looks at the video ref. Although it is annoying, I'd rather them look at the video ref than them not and judge by just, like, try and call it off the top of their head or whatever, like, how they see it in the heat of the moment and get something wrong, like um, what happened to the Tigers a few weeks ago. Um, it was against Manly. Uh, they scored a try, but um, they didn't go up and look at it. The referee made a decision on field, and it turned out to be the wrong one. Everybody slammed him. I think it was Shane Hayne, and I was wanting to slam him too because he should have went up and had a look. But at the same time, everybody keeps saying, oh, don't go up to the video ref. Don't go up to the video ref so often. Oh, this is shit. and turns people off the game, blah, blah, blah. But yet, when they don't do it, and they happen to get one wrong, which is going to bound to happen sometime, because human error, it does happen. Oh, I tackle. What do we do? Let's take the penalty goal. Can we make the distance? I think we can. I think this will make it. Fingers crossed it makes it, guys. Yeah, straight over. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, like, you can't have your cake and eat it. Um, it's unfair on the refs, and I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me that it seems hypocritical. I don't know if that's the word for it. Um, I think hypocritical sounds right in this instance. But, um, yeah, like, you can't, you can't tell them, don't go up there, and then when they don't go up there, say, you shouldn't have went up there. It, it's like the, the fans don't know what they want, but one thing I do want is um, the, the thing where they have to decide, they have to say no try or try, I want that gone. That, it seems like a cop out to me, um, a cop out for them to say, well, we don't have a flying, we don't have a clue, uh, pretty much we don't have a clue on a try, but we're just going to take a guess and we're going to give it like 90%, we're just going to take a guess. I was over the other side, I didn't see it. 
Um, but I'm just going because I have to. I'm going to say no try. Um, and then you go up and you see it's a try, and then they go, but but only 95% sure he could have had his foot out. So we're going to have to give it no try. Um, that doesn't go well for me. It just seems like a cop out for them not knowing what to do and not having like making like when they make shitty decisions, they can just fall back on the well. We had to go with what the ref. Uh, so on field, and then the on field ref can say, "Well, I wasn't too sure. It happened in the here the moment, like it was all fast. I couldn't really see it, and we had to make a decision. So it kind of covers their ass um, in a lot of in a lot of ways, in my opinion. Uh, like just keep in mind, this is my opinion. Um, by no means am I saying I've got the only opinion. Leave in the comments what your opinions are in to these sort of rules. Oh, that was a terrible move. Terrible move. Nearly conceded there." Probably will end up conceding somewhere here. Okay, assuming they're going to go. No, they didn't go. And we, they knock it on. Perfect for us. I reckon we'll score from this scrum. Here we go, Parrot. Oh, I thought Morris was away there. Um, sorry for saying arm um all the time. It's just my go-to. When when I'm trying to think of what to say, it's yeah. I can't help it. The Nukin tackled. Uh, so I forgot what I was saying. Wow, how did that get intercepted? Also, I should point out this is like this is um my old side versus the current side. So if you haven't noticed, go out and check um my other series. Hopefully, if everything goes well, it comes up in like the similar videos sort of thing. The like, you know how you have all the videos on the right-hand side, and it says, oh, you watch this video, watch this one? If that comes up, suggestive videos is what I'm looking for. Well, I can't believe, I'm so, forg like, lately I've been so forgetful. Um, what, not, well, not really forgetful, I'm pretty good with memory, but on the spot when I try to think of things, being um, terrible. Uh, sorry, I just got to pause it for a sec. Two seconds. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hopefully I synced it up alright, because I stuffed it up in the syncing, or how I was going to sync it. I should have uh, left the recording and stuff. Instead of um, pausing the audio, I should have uh, just let it go. But I didn't. Um, quite annoying. Had a door-to-door -door sales in person come up. Didn't answer it, but like, by the time I'd taken off the headset, and um, like went to go see who it was, the person had left and they put something in the mailbox um, I'm not happy about that I don't know, I don't know who they are, some dude with a long coat maybe a religious person, who would know actually I've seen a lot of uh, people from like Foxtel and all that sort of stuff, they seem to come around quite often but uh, I forget what I was talking about or I know what I was talking about but I forget what I was up to, so we'll leave it at that um, so leave in the comments what like what? What do you think about um, the decisions? What are some rules that you think need to be changed or just get rid of in general? Because those three were my main ones. Just my main gripes with the game. There's a lot more um, problems I think with the game, but some of them are hard to explain um, without me having a good think about it. And I haven't had a good think about it um, well enough for me to come and talk about it in a video. You pick up a win. <laughs> that penalty goal. Uh, from 30 something meters out from the sideline pretty much was the difference um, so I'd like to thank you for watching uh, would be really cool if you could hit the like button and leave a comment and I'll always reply to my comments um, thank you to the people who comment all the time um, you know who you are I reply to you all the time um, and if I, if I don't reply it's because it won't let me reply I don't know what, haven't got a Google account or something I don't know I don't know how to explain it but there's no reply button so I don't reply but that's the only reason. Um, but yeah, hit subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Uh, we'll see who won all these games quickly. And we take on the Cowboys the next week, uh, which is round 17, which is episode 15, I think. Something like that. But I'm not going off episodes anyway, so I don't know why I care. But yeah, end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.